Scott is 32% said exceeds expectations, 11% said meets expectations, 42% said below expectations, and 16% need more information. Now we do want to capture comments, um, things that... 19. Uh, we do want to um, ask you to provide us with comments because part of the scorecard is an improvement plan. So if there are things that you want to hear that we're not reporting on, if there are ways that we could report on this better, um, that would be more meaningful to you, we want to capture that so that that can go into our improvement plan for the next scorecard series. So anybody have any comments? or? Yep. We did have the, yeah, that's actually what prompted us to add the section that says event. Um, because community members said, look, it's not a permit violation, but we still want to know about events like that. And so during the scorecard, we talked about it. It wasn't reported actually on our scorecard, but that is what prompted the new addition to this scorecard. The problem with the scorecard is in some some areas uh, you're exceeding expectations, and others there's failure. And we get one vote on an issue that is is many faceted. I mean, mm -hmm. you see what I'm saying? What's your example of failure? What's that? What's the example of failure? Well, the fact that you didn't already have a system set up that was cut for the uranium uh, by the outside group, that, uh, and, and this type of thing. And of course, some of the problem is, too, that you're the ones providing the questions instead of the format being developed with the community to ask questions. And I understand that, and I, and I know that you're doing the best you can, but uh, it's not really a fair situation to give one answer for a multifaceted situation. Well, you see what I'm saying? I do. So we're putting too many environmental factors into one vote. Mm -hmm. 